We heard there was some rumours after the second park pilot that the government wanted to look at doing a, a camping pilot event in June, uh, but we didn't know for sure it was going to be download until I think it was middle of May is when we got the go ahead and got told downloads going to happen. Yeah, so it was literally four weeks before the actual event happened that we got the go ahead. feels um <laughs> i'm like uh, one minute i'm ecstatic and then i'm just like nervous and then it's just uh, it's very erratic i think that's the word it's just there's so much going on it's so surreal um but it yeah it feels amazing um yeah as i was just saying it just, hopefully it's not too much of a tease hopefully there'll be some other festivals that go on this year um but yeah it's it's brilliant Fuck yeah, yeah, down down pilot. Pilot. Down it is so good to be back. It's been way too long since the last time we saw live music. Everyone here is vibing, it's so alive. All the bands are bringing all the energy. Because I can see all my friends who I haven't seen in about two years. It's also, it's like giving sound engineers, lighting technicians, port managers, people like that job. It's so important to the music industry and I'm really happy to be back. It's so good to be home. This is everyone's second home and to have all the British bands back again. It's just one big family and being able to give them a hug is just going to be a great time. When did we find out that the download pilot was going ahead? Um, I got a phone call uh, from Tom, who's our agent, and he was just like, there's just been a meeting with like the download festival organisers and the government team, like the events team being like, they've been allowed to do the pilot and I immediately was just like get us that fucking show I was like what do we need to do to do it I'm like do we want to do it I mean it was probably like a week or so after the Blossoms show had happened in Liverpool so I was watching that and that whole thing with like they had a, night, a nightclub open and I was very much watching that and it was like then it just came and it was like do you want to do one and I was like absolute no brainer like I'd have walked here Mel, creme de la creme. Yeah. Like, fucking just shows like there's it. such a fucking amazing scene going on over here right now. And like, hopefully it will show to other festivals if they don't already realise it, how many great homegrown bands there are to pick from to, to put on a lineup. Yeah, it's just also wicked to see like Bullet uh, and Shikari and Frank Carter headlines. I just feel like those bands have just been smashing it for years and years. So to see them headline, it's just, it's just nice to see. Yeah, it's a good fuck progression, yeah. like, And just see our mates about you know what i mean static dress is playing loads played we've got higher power it's fucking cool man playing the main stage today was how do i even put it into words overwhelming amazing uh, incredible seeing so many faces after <laughs> being in a practice room for the past year and just playing to me bandmates was surreal honestly it's a uh, I think it's something I'll remember for the rest of my life. I think my favourite thing about it is that I feel like we've done a good job and we've done what we set out to do, but it did feel like a, like my first festival set kind Which of thing. Which I think is fair enough. And know? I think when we come back next year, come back stronger with new tracks, and it just it's nice to have download festivals now a thing that we can grow with, you know. And hopefully we'll be on like a much later slot on a 
even bigger stage one day and then it'll, it'll be something that us and anyone who saw us today can like carry through together you know like a kind of unified front kind of vibe i've really missed that mode yeah, i came in 2019 and it was great slip up on a great show and now that we're back i'm excited to see conjurer you know what yeah at least we're back it might not be as big but it's my first um download it's been very good very, 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 very good. it's absolutely sick being back it's missed it so much it's been two long years and it's been fantastic just to see everyone back here and uh, we can't wait for next year, no? <laughs> Bring it on. It wouldn't be download unless it was pissing it down. Uh, we just got an email just um, saying that it was happening, would we be interested? And we were like, well, absolutely. Like, what do we need to do? Just show up, do your thing. <laughs> it's just like, all right, let's do it. Oh, it feels amazing that we be able to save the head on down. You know, we've still got the sights on the big one sometime in the future, hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah, but you know, this is, uh, this is good enough for now, absolutely. We'll just so on it. Bro, you know what, when all this shit kicked off, I actually thought to myself, will we ever play again? So, when we got the call, I was pretty impressed, honoured, buzzed and excited to know that we was going to do what we, what we do best, which is rock and roll, you know. Playing this show today means so much to us and we, um, we're not just taking it lightly, we, um, we're going to give people a show where we're taking them back, we're taking them forward, we're pushing them around, we're really giving it all we got. You know, and it's amazing. It's just amazing because I never thought we'd fucking do it again at some point. Yeah, you thought we were all gonna die. I actually thought I thought it was like fucking Amiga Man. It was just gonna be Mikey left and we're doing jogging. You know what I mean? I am legend. Like I wouldn't be jogging. No, you know you wouldn't even go near the lions, would you? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're th very very thankful to be back in the game and doing this. Yeah. There's a lot of beautiful British bands who came here today who should be here, but thank God we got the call. Like you said, Mike, it's definitely it, it, rock and roll royalty. This is like a place where you, we were, I bet, I, basically, we, we were born here. The Newport helicopter bullshit that I do, that people fucking demand I do a day, every yeah. time, was born yeah. here, yeah. you know, born here. And, you know, every time we step on our stage, it's not like, oh, it's just another gig. Even, do you know what, I'll be honest with you, even if we played in front of six people and a fucking blind man and his dog, I know I'd give it, and I know these guys would give it as much as playing 80,000 people at, 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 at the massive festival. It don't matter to us. It really don't. It's, it's about getting a chance to play, and we got a fucking great opportunity today. No, I mean, hopefully this event will pave the way for live music to come back. I mean, hopefully the date will be good enough to allow, like, your likes of Bloodstocks, Reading Leeds, Flam Dunks all to go ahead now. I mean, like, uh, the way the testing went, everybody uh, adhered to the rules and hopefully, yeah, the date will be good and yeah, we'll be back on track hopefully soon.